Here we go. Brandon Ach here, back here with another top 10 video for you today. Well, this isn't top five. I was going to do a top 10. This was actually scheduled to happen, but then just WWE were just, they were just reading my mind and they decided to release like 10 wrestlers. So I don't really have that many people for this list, but there's a few people that they released that I didn't think they should, should have released and they should have kept and they should have released other people. Now, I do want to say this. I'm saying these people should be released for one of two reasons. Either WWE, in my opinion, is not using them right, or two, they're just absolutely awful. I'm not going to tell you which one because just the sake of not pissing off a bunch of wrestlers. So anyway, guys, this is my top five wrestlers WWE should release. Five. Number five is Eva Marie. Okay, I know Eva Marie gets a lot of heat, but okay, so anyway, they WWE, they didn't hire her for her wrestling ability. Research Eva Marie a little bit and you'll see she was a model. She, she, she's a model, that's what she does. And this is why the divas or women wrestlers get the really bad rap of not knowing how to wrestle and just being pretty. Number four is Adam Rose. If you've noticed, he's been missing from the uh, the social job, uh, uh, so, so social outcasts uh, because he is suspended for, he said something about heroin. I don't know if he's suspended for heroin. He said, maybe it was his sister that died? I don't know. Um, Adam Rose, he just needs to be released. I. I don't know if he could be something good, but if he could be, they're not doing it. Number three is Los Matadores or Primo and Epico. I know they're repackaging them as this um, Puerto Rico thing. We'll see how it goes. Just they, They've had felled gimmick after felled gimmick after felled gimmick. I mean, I'm, I know it takes multiple tries to find the one, but just this many on, you know, pay-per-views and Raws, and I, it's on the WWE Network forever, and like people are pretty smart nowadays. I don't think they're really going to fool anybody that these these guys are brand new and they're debuting. Uh, yeah, just, just, just release the guys if you can't find something better for them to do. Number two is Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger, he had a good run as the World Heavyweight Champion. That's mainly his only thing. I remember when he was the United States Champion, but I just, like, he, he was this actual wrestler that, from amateur wrestling, I don't even know why we call it amateur wrestling, but anyway, uh, that, that came into professional wrestling and was this great thing, had an awesome potential, but they just dropped the ball on uh, Jack Swagger. Number one, some of my younger fans might not even know who he is, but yes, he still is in a contract. I don't know if it's what kind of contract it is. His name is David Otunga. Um, I don't know if he's just there to be a legal advisor or whatever, because since he's like one of the, I, I don't know if he's one of the best. Like back on TV, they used to say, uh, he's never lost a case. He's never lost a case. He's the best lawyer in the entire world. I don't know if that was all just a work, but he actually is a lawyer and he's married to some celebrity. Uh, this celebrity, I don't know. But anyway, uh, David Otunga, he is still signed to WWE. Uh, where is he at? What's he doing? I heard he might be doing the Raw pre-show. I don't know. I don't know anybody that actually watches that. But anyway, guys, that is my top five wrestlers I believe should be released. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.